Hi Pisces, Happy New Year and welcome to your 2016 forecast. This year can be a lot, there's a theme this year about connecting with other people, developing your spiritual, your faiths, having faith in other people, having faith in yourself, and moving forward in a path of your choosing that feels right and good for you. You can call it your career, but it's your path in general. Now, we begin 2016 with all of the planets moving forward, which is unusual. There's usually somebody going retrograde. Yet that doesn't last for long as Mercury goes retrograde on the 4th. But don't feel that you can't start something new but think about what you might want to start new. could be something that would be a good thing to get back to. Um, and there's a lot of things in life like that. You want, wouldn't want to, um, let's say you're doing a cleansing fast. You might not want to do that for the rest of your life, but it could be good to get back to every once in a while. And there can be a, something that maybe you started before, and you dropped off and now is a good time to get back to it. Jupiter, your traditionally ruling planet, moves retrograde at 23 degrees of Virgo on the 7th of January. If you were born around the 16th of March, then this energy I, between the 14th, 15th, and 16th then this energy can be very positive for you to feel, to like embrace that confident side, to make your mark, to go forward in this new year. If you're looking for an opportunity for a new job, this can be good. There's a lot about career stuff for all of Pisces, but depending which day of Pisces you were born, it will be at different times throughout the year. But this one of the strong ones is right in the beginning of the year uh, when Jupiter, your ruling planet, is powerful. So whenever planets station retrograde or direct, think of it as a spotlight, a beam of the vibration of that planet, you know, kind of like ping, pinging down that you can capture and use. At the end of January, January 25th, Mercury goes direct. It goes direct at 15 Capricorn, which is connected to Pluto, which is about transformation thinking. It also was connected to Pluto in December 2015. So starting in the middle of December 2015 through the end of January 2015, there's this message from the universe to go deep within and figure out the plan whatever that means for you. What is my plan? And know that it can always change, it can always shift. It's not about not being flexible, but to but it is about being able to have an idea so you're not, you know, aimless. It's not I maybe I'll do this, maybe well what do what would be purposeful for me to do? Moving through February, there's, we have um, a February time, you can start to feel things kicking up for you, uh, more activity, uh, more if you're looking to, for romance, there's a little bit of, of romance, spending a little bit more money, that's showing up in February and March. Now March, there's a lot of astrological energy in March, you're you know, end of February, March time is your birthday month. So here's how it's, you know, which means that things can start to really happen for you. You can be very busy. You can make some changes. You can, whether it's external, changing jobs, changing relationships, you know, moving the relationship in a new direction, any, any of those things. But it also can be internal, changing within yourself deep changes within. March 8th, we have the solar eclipse. If you're born around March 8th, 
then it means you had the new, new moon solar eclipse on your birthday for your uh, solar return year. It's stronger year for new beginnings. It also means that something can pop up that needs to be dealt with. That happens a lot when you have a solar eclipse on your sun. Uh, whether it's uh, something pops up health-wise, okay, I just need to deal with this, or something pops up in your life, it's like, oh, I better not ignore this. A sound of your engine knocking, perhaps. <laughs> Tires that are going bald and you notice them. Just don't, don't ignore it, take care of it. Then in the middle of March, we have a Jupiter trying Pluto. Now this Jupiter Pluto energy is weaving in and out with the Mercury retrogrades in Earth signs. So it's about being practical and also about manifesting. You're Pisces, you're ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. It's creative, it's about believing in yourself and accessing the other realm, visionary, creative, artistic side. And now that we have this beautiful trine happening with Jupiter and Pluto connected to the all the, there's four uh, Mercury retrogrades this year instead of three, and Earth signs connected with those, this is a year of manifestation. If you put your intuitive, psychic, spiritual mind, soul to work, you can manifest a lot this year. Yet, there's a couple of things to move past, and one of them has to do with a what's called a T-square. It's configuration between Jupiter, Saturn, which will be exact March 23rd. I'll talk about that first. Jupiter wants belief. You know, have confidence and believe. Saturn is the bugaboo. Is uh, yeah, but. but is the yeah but planet yeah but did you think about this yeah but what if this happens yeah but this so Saturn is that side of life that says there are realistic concerns when you want to go after your dreams what you want to manifest so this is the time to be able to put your the work and effort into your hopes and your dreams and your what you are thinking of wanting to happen. Saturn will go retrograde March 25th. And also, all of this time, it's bouncing off of the uh, lunar eclipse on March 23rd. So Saturn retrograde in Sagittarius is, it will affect, if you were, if you were born um, around the 16th of March, you will feel the Saturn retrograde a little bit more because it will be more exact to your sun degree. And what does this mean? That you can see what the work that needs to be done. There could be obstacles in your way that you have to play by all the rules. You'll have to work a little bit harder to get what you want. It doesn't last forever but it is there to strengthen. Part of it's about strengthening yourself, that you, you have the inner strength to figure out what needs to be done and to move forward. And when we move into April, April has Mars going retrograde. It has Pluto going retrograde on the 6th, 17th, and the 18th. These two aggressive planets are very strong in the middle of April, 17th and 18th, moving retrograde. Mars goes retrograde from Sagittarius. Jupiter goes retrograde from Capricorn. So this, this Sagittarius ret retrograde, which is where Saturn is, is putting effort and energy into your career into what, how you want to be known in the world, what you want your reputation to be. Now, it can mean that something comes up where you have to stand up for yourself. Wait a minute, I need to stand up? Don't say that about me, that's not true. You know, that's, you might think that, but that's not true. So standing up for yourself, of what is the truth? But it's also about taking action on your own truth, your own inner truth. 
very strong. And that Pluto energy is about becoming empowered. Where can you become empowered? Through the friends that you connect with, through the people you connect with. Connecting with the right people that lift you up. It will be very important this year. It's always important, but you'll feel it um, at different times of more importance. Like, you know, I really do need to be with people that I feel good, that I feel that they can lift me up and I don't feel that I need to protect myself around them or feel that I'm always giving out and never receiving. When we move into May, Mercury will have gone retrograde for the second time of the year, uh, April 28th, in Taurus. And Jupiter will go direct on May 9th, making this beautiful grand trine with Jupiter, Mercury, and Pluto. Jupiter, Pluto wants to, something big. What is your mark in the world? What do you want to say that you've done, that you've accomplished? What's important for you? The Mercury connecting with this Jupiter-Pluto throughout the year, every time it goes retrograde, it's going to connect where, with where that Jupiter-Pluto trine is or was. And so the ideas, what practical is in Earth signs, what practical thing do I, I can do, I can think about to manifest this thing, whether it's many or one large thing, that you feel, I want to make my mark on the world with this. This is what's important to me. I don't want to die before I do this or accomplish that. Then we move into June with that T-square that I talked about, Jupiter, Saturn, with Neptune, your modern day planet, Neptune moving retrograde on the 13th. Now, Neptune can be confusing you know, a little bit, it dissolves things. If you were born around the 1st, 2nd, or 3rd of March, this energy can be, part of it can be, it's like, I know I want to do something else, but what is it? I know something else is important for me, but what is it? You're still, the, this energy is recreating you. It's kind of like, there's a book, Recreating the, You from the Core of Your Beingness connecting to your beingness. So be patient with it. Be patient with yourself. Keep working on the inner you and then the outer you will manifest. We have Chiron going retrograde on June 27th. And if you were born on the 16th of March, you can feel this energy pretty strong. Chiron is a wisdom, a wisdom energy is stepping into your wisdom, acknowledging that things don't always work out the way we want them to in life, but we can learn from them. We can become wise from them. We move into uh, this, the months of July and August, relatively calm after the whirlwind in March, April, and May. Although Uranus will go direct on the 29th and it's going direct in Aries, which can be a sudden insight of spiritual insight for you. So sudden, which is part of your path in life, spiritual uh, growth, spiritual development. And on the 13th of August, Jupiter, I'm sorry, not Jupiter, on the 12th of August, there's a Jupiter-Chiron opposition. So that opportunity to acknowledge the wisdom within you is very strong. And then the next day, Saturn uh, moves direct at 9 degrees Sag, which again, if you were born on the 1st of March or the very last day, February 28th, you could feel this pressure a little bit more. I need to do something. Do I need to get another job? Do I need to work harder? What is it that I need to do to take care of myself, the whole of my being? As we move into September, that's your halfway point of your birthday year. And we move into September with Mercury going retrograde in the Earth sign of Virgo on the 29th and will stay retrograde until the 22nd. But the 1st of September, we have a solar eclipse. And that solar eclipse energy, again, is impacting. 
if you were born February 28th or March 1st. So sudden insight, something can pop up for you. For, it's, it's true for all Pisces, but if it's I'm talking about these exact days, you can feel it more. You might feel it more intense. Something can pop up for you. What do I need to pay attention to? So September is a time of paying attention to life. We have Jupiter moving into Libra on the 9th of September. We have the completion of a s- series of cycles, the Saturn-Neptune completing on the 10th. That Saturn-Neptune energy uh, started in November. The important lesson of Saturn-Neptune is to re- remember not to fall into disappointment or despair because the dreams didn't work out, but to learn from them and to know that the vision that you are creating in your mind, the ideal, will take the Saturn effort and work along with the faith and confidence that you can't always know why things happen, but there's a faith or a trust that needs to go with that of staying true to your inner core and believing that of there's a higher like a higher reasoning that we can't always see or know about we just need to do what we, our best follow our truth and the lunar eclipse on September 16th is um, very strong again if you're born March 16th you'll feel it uh, more powerful but it's about for all of Pisces it's about balance between yourself and what you do with or for others having a good balance the end of September with Mercury going direct on the 22nd and then Pluto going direct on the 26th accenting that that trine uh, energy of empowerment again now with Jupiter having moving into Libra it will now go to square that Pluto and Capricorn November 24th. So we're coming towards the end of the year with an energy of doing. What is it that I need to do? What is it that's important for me? September and October time can be good times for you to connect with relationships. If you're in a relationship, to go do things that are enjoyable. If you aren't in a relationship, there's different times throughout the year where it's more prominent of connecting um, around in March and April time and then again in September and October time. And depending on your own personal chart, you know, you, this is a generalization. You have to really look at your Venus and see what's going on with your Venus to know when meeting somebody. But the, we move, close out the year with an action-oriented energy of what we can do that is important for us for the larger picture of our life, of what I'm calling making your mark, making the difference, doing doing that thing which is important for you that you know that you want to finish or accomplish or do before you leave this planet. And then the end of the very end of December, December 26, we have Jupiter opposite Uranus, which is a very, from Aries to Libra, a very strong energy of um, vibrating. It's vibrating this, this sense of coming into independence, being free. It goes back to the conjunction, Uranus-Jupiter conjunction, of understanding individuality, um, on the planet, it's about this urge that started in 2007, really with the Arab Spring, was part of the Arab Spring um, vibration of acknowledging that everybody has a right to pursue their own life path, to be the individual self. And we see collectively how far have we gotten, but on an individual level, it's also how far have I gotten to be able to feel that I'm free to express myself and free to be me and not confined of with woulds and shoulds and supposed tos and have more joy in my life. And then the very end, on the 29th, Uranus moves direct. And that's an exciting energy, again, of change. And for you, a lot of this change of excitement or explosion or insight can come from a spiritual perspective, learning things on in a spiritual way, uh, and also uh, about opening up to your 
Uh, part of it is about opening up to your abundance principle. Actually, a lot of it's about opening up to your abundance principle and acknowledging that the the abundance um, abundance can come from not only your work and your effort, but from spiritual manifestation. And there can be a sudden shift in consciousness that is creative, created for you of seeing that abundance can first work from the other realm, that belief system, having belief, having knowledge, that um, sense of manifesting from the other side, and then it can manifest uh, in the physical plane. Thanks so much. Have a very prosperous and happy and healthy new year. And please subscribe so you, if you ever wanted me to find me again, you would be able to. Thanks.